Everyone's talking about AI coding assistance, but here's the real question. Should you go with black box AI or Claude? I've been testing both for weeks and honestly, the answer might surprise you. Let me start with black box AI. This thing is built specifically for developers who want to code faster, period. The standout feature here is code extraction from literally anywhere. Videos, images, PDFs, you see code in a YouTube tutorial, Blackbox pulls it out instantly. Here's what I noticed after using it daily. The auto-completion is aggressive in a good way. It predicts entire functions based on your context. Real-time debugging is solid too, though sometimes it gets overzealous with suggestions. Pricing is $7.99 monthly, but most users stick with the free tier because it covers the basics pretty well. Developers love the speed and code extraction, but some complain it can be too pushy. Now, Claude, this is where things get interesting. Claude isn't just a coding assistant, it's a reasoning powerhouse that happens to be incredible at code. Better explanations, more thoughtful responses, and less garbage output. I've been using Claude for complex debugging, and it's honestly scary good. It doesn't just fix your code, it explains why the bug happened and how to prevent it next time. You can actually collaborate with it, not just take orders. But here's where it gets expensive. Claude pricing ranges from $17 to $200 per month. That's a serious investment compared to Blackbox, but if you're doing complex projects, it might be worth it. Here's my honest take. If you code all day and want speed above everything else, Blackbox AI is your friend. 20 bucks a month, and that code extraction feature is genuinely useful. But if you're working on complex projects or need an AI that actually understands context, Claude is worth the premium. The reasoning quality is in a different league. Bottom line, black box for speed and daily coding, Claude for complex problem solving. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the most talked about tools side by side every week across finance, marketing, software design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the latest comparison here or dive into the playlist if you're still deciding. But I'm curious, which one would you pick? Got a favorite? Drop it in the comments. I'm always curious what real users think.